Welcome to Dave Arbogast. My name is Larry. Today I'm showing you a 2017 extended van built as a seven passenger. This one has the reclining seats, has the Vista top, the 20 inch wheels, the full ground effects. This is a loaded X package Explorer van. Let's take a look inside of it. As we step inside, you'll see on this extended van it's built as a seven passenger van. We have two captains up here. We have the two captains here with the reclining footrest. They also have a massage unit. They also have heat and they also go back and forth too. And then you have a sofa bed in the back. As you can see, this will raise right up. And one of the reasons you do it on the extended van is it does give a taller person, such as myself, room to stretch out a little bit here. And then right here in your hand, you've got a massage unit that does different parts of your back. And all the way up down through everything. It's got three different zones. It's got different intensities. And that's all right here on this control. And then you've got all your other controls down here on the side with lumbar support and everything. And you also can slide it back and forth over here on your other side. A couple other features you'll see here in the back. You've got a 29 inch flat screen. You've also got lights all the way around and the switches for the lights are up in the front. Up in between the driver passenger seat up in the ceiling with the rear air controls. You've also got lights up here. You've also got reading lights above you. And you actually have two different sets. And you also have those above the, the sofa and you've got a sunroof in the back also. Um, that will open with the buttons on the sunroof. Uh, on the TV here, you'll see you've got a Blu-ray player down here in the center. You've also got a 110 plug, a 12-volt plug, and an HDMI plug, and a TV speaker switch. Now, what the TV speaker switch does is you can turn it on and play it through those two speakers, or you can put on the headphones that are here in the sidewall, and you can listen to it through the headphones so that someone else can listen to the radio up front. Um, one other thing it will do, too, on your local channels, if you're sitting still, you can actually change the source of your... TV to the television. You hit the menu button and you will scroll down to where it says antenna and you push the button to go over to it and you do auto program and you push this little button here in the middle that is an air button and you'll want to do air and this will pick up some channels local if it's a nice day out and you're sitting still. Um, as soon as you start to move, it will lose the channels. Um, but you can pick up some local stuff once in a while um, through the digital air. And most of the time, you're going to be using it as a Blu-ray player, uh, playing movies, things like that. The other thing you can do is uh, I've seen people plug in laptops or tablets into the HDMI plug, and they can stream off of their tablets or, or off of their laptop computers either direct television or something along that line where where they could play features like that. Now this takes about two minutes to three minutes. It'll go through, do the source and everything. It'll go through and look for the channels. Like right now it's found 10 channels today um, that it'll play. And once it gets to the 100%, then it'll show the, it'll start with the first channel. One other feature you've got here in the back, you've got blinds on all sides. You've also got USB ports right next to the chairs. So you can plug in your laptop, your Xbox, anything like that, your phone, if anything you want to charge. Um, and you can also plug in the Xbox down there at the front. Now it's done, so it says OK. Here's one of our local channels, which is channel 7. And you can see it's got a really clear picture today. Um, but as soon as you start to drive, you will lose these channels because um, it doesn't pick them up you know, when you're moving because it just jumbles just like this right here. It jumbles the signal a little bit when you start moving. Um, but if you're sitting still like in a game or something and you want to tailgate and you want to turn that on, sometimes you can pick up those channels. If we step here to the front, you'll see there's a couple different features. We've got the power windows, power locks, automatic lights. Um, you've also got a light switch here that you can push that turns these lights off when the doors open if you want them off or they'll go off when you shut the door. Um, you've got all your driver information center right here, does your trip. Does your oil life, does your tire pressures, your fuel range, um, your, your comfort features here. Um, also does like your parking assist, English, tells all your, there's your tire pressures. Um, and then we'll get back to tells how much fuel used, average speed, your tachometers on there. Um, when you put it in reverse, one thing you will see is you're going to have a backup camera. You also have sensors beeping because I'm close to the wall behind me. And they'll beep louder the closer you get. Um, you've got your window washer, wipers over here, and then um, here on the steering wheel you've got the 
cruise and tilt. Tilt's back here. Cruise is over here on your left hand. On your right hand, you've got all your radio controls, your preset channels, everything there. You've got a, if you put it in manual, which is the M next to the drive, you can shift it manually if you want to do that. Uh, most people don't, but you can if you're pulling a trailer or something like that. You also have a trailer tow, tow haul mode right here. When that little trailer's on, what it does is change the shift pattern of the transmission. So if you're going up through the hills and stuff, it keeps it from shifting into overdrive as much. Um, as you go over here, you've got your front air, heat and air controls. You've also got heated mirrors on the outside. And up here at the top, you've got your rear air controls. And it has one that says auxiliary. When you do the auxiliary, then these controls can be controlled by the person in the back. You've also got little map lights up here in the ceiling on both sides. And then you've got lights right here, too. And then you just have some decorative stuff here. Um, as you step down here to the radio, you're going to see this one. This one has the navigation system. If you hit the home, it's all touch screen. It says what's playing, navigation, uh, put in your destination. All your phone controls are up here, so you can Bluetooth your phone. You also have, during your six-month trial with OnStar, you'll have the weather um, and then all your settings and everything, and you've got several pages. Some of them aren't lit up. They won't light up until they're in use. If you plug your phone in, you can do the Pandora. Um, if you use this port right here, you can plug in a smart stick or plug in your phone, and that's your USB right here. And there's your AM, FM, and then your XM radio, which you do get three months free with that. Like I said, if you hit the navigation, it'll ask if you agree. And there it'll pull up the actual map. If you want to put in destination, you hit the button that says destination. And then you put in your city, street, everything. Just go through the steps, each one. And then if you want to go back to see what's playing on the radio, you just hit home. And hit now playing. And right now I've got classic vinyl on. Um, and you'll have a list of in your book here of uh, all the channels for XM Radio, and like I said, you get three months free with that. One other thing you have here is you've got Stabilitrack um, button down here. If you want to turn it off, you can push the button. What that does is if it feels the tires slipping um, in the back end, it'll it'll break a little bit for you to kind of get you back in control. You've also got 12-volt power ports up here in the front, and you've got a 110 power port up, port up here in the front. One thing you will want to do um, when you get your new van, you're going to want to push this blue OnStar button. They will do what's called a welcome call, and they'll talk you through everything, offer you some phone minutes because the vehicle will have its own phone. Um, you can also Bluetooth it, so you can push the button right here on the steering wheel, answer the phone. And one other thing you'll do is once you do your welcome call, while you've got OnStar on the phone, you can actually go to your phone, as you'll see I'm going to do, and you go to the Play Store in this case because mine's an Android or you go to the Apple Store and you type in my GMC and it'll come up with my GMC app and you search that right there and they offer a bunch of different ones free you'll just hit the first one up here at the top and what this does is once you install this they'll tell you what code to put in the people from OnStar can tell you what code to put in and once you install this on your phone then you can actually use your phone as your key fob so if you're sitting in New York and your van's sitting here in Ohio, you can actually start the van, you can lock the van, any options that are on your key fob, you can do on your phone. And you get that free for up to five years. It's a really nice app. It's something I really recommend that you download and be able to use. It's nice if you would lock your keys in or anything like that. You don't have to call OnStar. You can just take your phone and unlock it right there and get your keys out. Or like I said, if you're at an airport or something like that and you happen to be flying in and maybe your van's at the airport and it's cold, you can start your van from inside the airport so it's warm by the time you get out to it. Um, up here on the front, you'll notice too, you've got a glove box right here. And here's all your owner's manuals and everything. You've also got a leather bag in the back of the sofa that has all your manuals for the conversion stuff, the TV, the Blu-ray player, a little how-to book from Explorer. Um, shows a bunch of different things. You've got, a, you've got a cooler right here in the front, and this just pops out. So you can take that out, dump it out when your ice melts, fill it back up, put it back in. 
There is a little button here in the middle. You can use that to pick it up if you want to. Or you can do like I do and pick it up with the cup holders. The other thing you've got here on the front, you've got heated seats, lumbar, and you've also got all your power seat controls right here. Your recline, back and forth, up and down. One other feature here in the front is you do have three buttons right here. These are your home link buttons. And what you can do is program in a garage door, an electric fence, anything that would work off of a remote like that. You can program those right into the vehicle. So you don't have to carry a remote up here on your on your visor. You can just push the button when you get home and it'll open the garage door for you. Thank you for viewing our video on this 2017 van. And for all your van needs, call me, Larry, at 855-395-9443, extension 294, or visit me on the web at gmcconversionvans.com. I'm going to sit here and enjoy these relaxing seats.